Let's prove a solution exists for f of x equals x to the fifth minus x minus 2 on the interval 0 to 2. Right? So we have a closed interval, and we have a function that's continuous. There's no reason for us to believe that continuity does not exist for this function. So the main important thing is, again, by looking at the IVT, guys, if we have some negative value, we have some positive value, it's on a closed interval, right? And we know the function's continuous. Doesn't matter what the function is, what it's, well, it can't go under itself. But eventually, to get to positive, it has to cross. We're not looking for this value. We just want to show that it exists. But if you're going from a negative to a positive or from a positive to a negative, you're going to have to cross that x axis, right? And the IVT proves that all those values exist on that closed interval as long as the function is continuous. So why don't we just go ahead and check our endpoints and see what's happening. So f of 0 equals 0 to the fifth minus 0 minus 2, which equals negative 2. Okay? And sometimes you don't have, you know, sometimes you might have to check other values within the closed interval. Um, change it up. Now let's check f of 2. 2 to the fifth minus 2 minus 2. 2 to the fifth is 32. Minus 2 is 30. Minus 2 is 28. Oh. So, you know, let's kind of like look at this. At 0, we're at negative 2. At 2, we're at 28. So again, guys, we've already shown that this function is continuous. right? We know this function is continuous. And we have it on a closed interval. So we know somewhere it crosses. Do we know where? No, but we could use technology to find out. But that's not what it's asking. It's just saying prove something exists. So again, the IVT tells us that between two values on a closed interval, a continuous function, all the values in between exist. So there is some value that exists where f of x is equal to 0. Okay? And the way that we're going to write that is, we'll write it just like this. Since f of 1 is less than or equal to 0, which is less than or equal to f of 2, right? f of, oops, f of, sorry. f of 0 is equal to negative 2. f of 2 is equal to positive 28. Zeros in between. Agreed? And since f of x is continuous on the interval 0, 2. Okay, So do you guys agree how we've kind of set everything up? We've got everything necessary that we need for the IVT. We have continuity. right? We have a closed interval. And not, but we've also shown that there's a value that's lower than 0 and a value that's above 0. So therefore, then we could say, by the IVT, there must be a solution Now, I'm not going to enclose that, because we already know the solution doesn't occur. We already know the solution doesn't occur at 0 and 2, right? 0 is at negative 2, 2 is at 28. So we know those are not the solutions. But at any point after that, or outside of those two values, a solution has to occur because of the IVT. OK? Yes? What does IVT stand for? That's exactly what I was going to write down next.